Hi there. Now, for this question, you've got to express all of this in the form A over B, all times C plus D root E, where A, B, C, D and E are integers. So, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, do fast forward if you want to just check the answer, or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Good luck. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So let's see how you got on. Well, first of all, just copy down what we're given. And I'm going to keep this first fraction the same. Let's just copy that back in again. We've got 4 then all divided by 2 root 5 minus root 3. Now for this second fraction here, I'm going to simplify square root of 180 and the square root of 27. Root of 180 can be thought of as the square root of 36 times 5, 36 being a square number. So that's 36 times 5 there. And as for 27, we can split that up into 9 times 3. So that's the square root of 9 times 3. And then for the denominator here, squaring out this bracket, we square the first term, root 2 when you square it, it's going to be 2. Then you're going to get twice the product of 2 root 5, the product is going to be root 10, double that and you've got minus 2 root 10. And then you've got the last term squared, minus root 5 times minus root 5 is plus 5. And I'll put all of that in brackets there. Now, for the square root of 1 and 9 sixteenths, convert this all into sixteenths. That's a total of 25 sixteenths. So what we've got here is then the square root of 25 sixteenths. Now what I'm going to do next is work on cleaning this fraction up here and also this one here. We'll, we'll leave this front one alone for the moment. So that's 4 over 2 root 5 then, minus the root 3. And for this other fraction here, let's just put that in brackets like so. Square root of 36 is 6, so we've got here 6 root 5. 6 root 5 then. And for 9 times 3, we can square root 9 and just get 3. So this is going to be minus 3 root 3. And that's all divided by. And here on the bottom, we've got 2 plus 5, which is 7. And just left with the minus 2 root 10 there. Close that bracket off like that. Okay. Now the square root of 25 sixteenths, we can square root the top and the bottom. Square root of 25 is 5. I'll just put that over there for the moment. And the square root of 16 is 4. So we've got 5 quarters there. And when it comes to working with this fraction here, when I look at this denominator, 2 root 5 minus root 3, I notice that if you were to multiply this by 3, you'd get 6 root 5 minus 3 root 3. So what I'm saying is that we can divide this into this three times over. Okay, so we've got 3 and 1 there. So we've got 3 over 7 minus 2 root 10. And because we've got roots in the denominator here, I need to rationalize this fraction. So that's why I've left the space here. To rationalize this, I multiply top and bottom by 7 plus 2 root 10. Okay, 7 plus 2 root 10, all divided by 7 plus 2 root 10. And I'll put that 5 quarters in brackets there. So what have we got now? Well, I notice that this 4 here will now cancel out with that 4 there. So let's cancel that out, 1 there and 1 there. So what we've got then is that this equals 3 times the 5, which is the 15. And then I've got 
7 plus 2 root 10. I'm just going to put that in the bracket, 7 plus 2 root 10. All right. And then if I multiply out the denominator here, that's the 7 minus 2 root 10 with the 7 plus 2 root 10. Let's see what we get for that. So it's going to be all over. And then we've got 7 times 7, which is 49. Then we're going to have 7 times the 2 root 10, which is going to be 14 root 10. But then we're going to have minus 14 root 10. So they cancel one another out. And then we're just left with minus 2 root 10 times plus 2 root 10. It's going to be negative. And we've got 2 times 2, which is 4. Root 10 times root 10, which is 10. 4 times 10 is 40. So what have we got next? Well, we've got 15 divided by 9 here, 15 over 9 times 7 plus 2 root 10. And I can see that we can cancel 3 into 15 and 9. 3's into 15 go 5, 3's into 9 goes 3. So we end up with 5 over 3 multiplied with 7 plus 2. 2 root 10. And that is in this form. If we were asked to find out what A, B, C, D and E are, A would be the 5, B would be the 3, C would be the 7, D the 2 and E 10. Okay.